Hi everyone, this is Akai GXC706D, known as a tank in the audio cassette world. It's built exactly like tank. It's very, very sturdy. Uh, this uh, deck was produced in 1979 and it was introduced at the price of 300 US dollar. In 79, 300 dollars was quite a big amount, but uh, that was sold all of the models immediately. And then it became a reputation for Akai after this model because they used the glass and crystal ferrite head, which is uh, not only the mechanism, but the head is indestructible, you know. It will stay for whole life because the way they have made the glass and crystal combination so it doesn't wear out at all the main feature of akai are two heads a mechanical uh, three uh, digit tape counter over there and uh, manual tape selection of course uh, you have here uh, manual cassette uh, tape selection it is uh, able to handling the normal and uh, the groom and also the the ferro groom tips uh, mechanism is a belt driven and a single capstan transport and uh, it's a front loading system which was very common that day but the mechanism akai was making that time is whole made of metal only few parts of plastic you see in whole cassette mechanism rest everything is made of just metal that's why it's called tanka undestructible and up till uh, this time this is working excellently fine it has on, on, only uh, dollar b b noise reduction c was not introduced that time and uh, it gives a uh, almost 10 db of noise reduction it was quite famous because of the uh, recording level input you have to input the microphones in and making the uh, recording also and uh, headphone out and you have output and headphone volume control it was also excellent and the view meters very beautiful with the backlight you see and uh, you have the recording uh, light and the Dolby noise reduction over there I'm not sure if behind are the LEDs I think it should be a normal lamps like over there because LEDs were not that common at that time so uh, you have Dolby noise reduction you see and you have this input selection let's see uh, to play something mechanism is so so strong and rugged that it can stay and work forever let's hit play mechanism like that and the big circuitry is very serviceable even it's so easy that uh, a person with a limited knowledge with a bit of common sense can do service on this kind of cassette tech replacing the belts are super easy and also 
the electrolytic capacitor which Akai used, uh, they were made from the Panasonic and they were quite highly graded and they, they never went bad also. Usually electrolytic capacitor, they get dried and then you have a muffled sound and you have other issues. But uh, I never uh, see myself that any electrolytic capacitor went bad even from uh, till 2024. And mechanism you see how it's ready. This is forward, this is reverse, this is for recording, this is play, pass. Personally, I, I like uh, view meters with a needle rather than LED or the, the other display because I found them more beautiful and appealing. <laughs> Okay, the, this uh, potentiometer variable resistor, which is controlling the output, is, is cracking a bit, but uh, it's, uh, it's easy fix. I spray off contact, contact display, and it will be good.
Excellent. I was looking over the internet uh, for the prices in the second hand market. So I saw that uh, the cheapest one available is 235 euros and there are several even higher. And then I looked historically the sold prices. So uh, the stake stays like plus um, 200 euro mark all the times. So I check in the Wilhelm, which is an Austrian website, the market price in trade hands here locally in Netherlands and Germany and Belgium and eBay also. So it means uh, uh, this uh, gets a deck not only uh, is uh, very good and highly sought for, but it's still keeping the value, which is important. And mainly because of the, uh, the quality Akai has uh, put together in this deck. I wanted to show you, by the way, that glass and crystal ferrite head, you know, because it's, it's a very nice head. A little bit uh, bigger if you see the, the, the heads from 80s and 90s, but it's interesting. I just wanted to share with you. Let me bring the camera close, then we can see. So here is the close up for the enclosure and uh, you can you can see the head this is the head you see how it's constructed and it has an extra head room and uh, yeah and this is uh, for erasing head and the uh, caption ruler is also high quality but uh, you see I just wanted to show you uh, this kind of head never produced after Nakamichi they have their own heads basically which has an overlay uh, which is keeping the, the the tape so close to the head that it has a less wow and flutter uh, but uh, that was a technology from the uh, Nakamichi uh, and this is the Akai. Very uh, simple, straightforward mechanics they have put together. Everything so good that it still is strong and uh, functional fully 100% after so many years. So I hope uh, you like this video. Until next time, I'll share some uh, other audio equipment with you guys. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate. Bye-bye.